Hi there, this is Srikanth Dasari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the various ways to link uh, uh, external web pages uh, within our uh, HTML page. Okay. So, first, let me launch the IDE. So, we know that we are using a uh, NetBeans here. Okay. So, first, let me uh, so close everything. So, whatever we have, and let's create a new project here. So, file new project, and let's select HTML. And HTML5 application. So if we click next and let's name our project as uh, so HTML5. So hyperlinks and two here. Okay. So since in the last lesson we have created a project under the name uh, HTML5 hyperlinks here. Okay. So now we have uh, uh, so we have created the project with other name. So the project name is whatever you wanted. Okay. So let's the remaining options. Let's keep it uh, by default here. Okay. So we know that uh, the NetBeans uh, takes the privilege of creating. Uh, uh, let's uh, first let me get rid of. Uh, let me close the other projects here. Okay. So NetBeans automatically uh, creates an index.html page uh, within this uh, uh, site root folder here. Okay. So that index.html page uh, contains uh, the blank uh, HTML5 template. Okay. So let's get me uh, first. Let me get rid of the stew tag here. Okay. So, uh, so if you run this plain page uh, in your uh, Google Chrome, okay, let's keep the Chrome, which is the default browser, uh, to view the HTML page here. Okay, so nothing happens. Okay, so let first let's add a title uh, to our page. So all the basic things. Let's say uh, title. Uh, let's say title as uh, external. So whatever you want. Uh, let's say hyperlinks okay let's say hyperlinks here okay and it's having a problem here so what is the problem let's see the chain element of uh, head tag here okay so already we have a uh, title and uh, we are again trying to uh, take another uh, title tag here okay so let's say so hyperlinks okay so let's add some uh, uh, bg color uh, let's say so bg color is equal to some cn whatever you wanted let's have an h1 tag so all these things are not uh, mandatory okay so instead of bg color here i'm saying bg so all these things are not uh, mandatory here okay so they're not essential so uh, although uh, so we are we are adding it uh, just to show it in our uh, html page here okay so let's say uh, the heading is HTML5. So HTML5 hyperlinks. Uh, on the, uh, let's say linking to so external documents in uh, HTML5. Okay. So now if you run your page, okay. So it's the background color is added and you have an uh, H1 tag here. Okay. So if you want, you can uh, use this align attribute. Uh, so sooner we are going to study about uh, the CSS here, okay? So you have your title at the uh, center of the page here, okay? And now, uh, so in order to uh, link uh, from an, uh, to an external page uh, or make a link to an external page uh, in our HTML page, so as we did in the last lesson, uh, we need to add the uh, A tag here, okay? So let's see that. So A, so and the important attribute as we have studied in the last lesson. Uh, so let's say, uh, so when you're using, uh, when you're trying to link to an uh, external page, we need to use the absolute URL, okay? So not just uh, the title of the page. So you need to, your URL should be like this, HTTP to the .co and dot it here, okay? So this is known as uh, the absolute URL of uh, google.com page. And let's say, so let's have some text to our hyperlink here. Let's go to so google.com. Okay. So whatever you want. Okay. So now if you run your page uh, in your uh, Chrome, so you observe here a small hyperlink here. Okay. So go to google.com. So we click on that. So link automatically leads to the. Uh, so if you are set up with an internet connection, uh, the link automatically uh, goes to this google.go.in homepage here. Okay. So in the same way. Um, so if we go back to editor uh, as we have studied in the last lesson so if we use uh, uh, target uh, attribute okay 
So if you uh, copy the same page once again, uh, the, copy the absolute URL uh, and paste it here. Okay. And uh, so to use uh, the target attribute uh, uh, within this uh, uh, a h tag, uh, a tag here. Okay. So target is equal to uh, underscore uh, blank. And if you say something like this, and again you uh, you take another uh, text, uh, another text for your uh, hyperlink. So which is visit uh, Google homepage. So whatever you want. It, okay. So whatever you want, it, you can have uh, that as a text for the hyperlink. And let's say uh, let's have the via tag here. So now if you run your page, uh, again you get another hyperlink which you have created. Okay. So if you see, if you click on this, it opens in the new tab here. Okay. So that's the reason behind that uh, is that we have uh, 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 we have used this uh, uh, target attribute here. Okay. So target attribute. Uh, uh, within within our uh, page here okay so in the same way uh, so if you want uh, so not only uh, google.com uh, so whatever so whatever the page in the world uh, uh, you want uh, you can uh, uh, so add that your uh, so you can uh, make an hyperlink uh, to that page and you can uh, uh, load that page immediately okay so in the same way if you want you can add uh, so a href so a href is equal to Let's say it's TTP, so colon slash slash Bulaya, so college dot info. Okay, so this is the college uh, where I work as an assistant professor. So you can say visit uh, so my college site. Okay, so whatever the text you wanted uh, for the hyperlink, you can keep it here. Okay. So we run this page once again. Uh, so since we haven't used the br tag, it's uh, showing up in the so immediately following window here. Okay. So now if you run your page uh, in your Chrome, so if you click on this, it uh, automatically uh, it goes to my uh, college website here. Okay. So in the same way, um, so if you want to go to, to a specific page, uh, so for say you want to go to the engineering college for women. Uh, and uh, computer science department and faculty page here so if you want to uh, if you want to go uh, thus far uh, uh, okay so you can uh, grab the url okay so you can grab the url and you can make uh, uh, an hyperlink for that also okay so you can say uh, so a href okay so a href here okay and uh, so let's say uh, let's copy the whole or uh, let's type it once again http colon slash slash Okay, still call it slash slash layer college dot info or else let's uh, since we have copied the entire URL okay so uh, uh, hyphen uh, slash uh, so to that if you want to have if you want to uh, target a specific page uh, so you can uh, uh, use this uh, uh, syntax okay so you can use the slash and you can uh, uh, name the name that page okay so now uh, you can say uh, csc department you can have some text to your hyperlink here okay let's uh, add a br tag another br tag here and we can have uh, uh, a text for uh, the hyperlink here okay? csc department in uh, layer engg college okay so whatever the text you wanted, you can uh, place for that uh, hyperlink there. So now if you run your page in your uh, uh, Chrome once again, so you have a CS department in Mullah Engineering College uh, hyperlink here. Okay, so if you click on that, uh, directly uh, takes me to the uh, CS department uh, homepage here. Okay, so in the same way, uh, so not only uh, uh, not only the uh, links uh, you can make uh, you can select an image uh, and you can make that image as a hyperlink here okay so to do that uh, so let's go to uh, another project here okay so i have an image uh, in that project so first let me open a project file uh, open project so i have uh, an image copied in that uh, so first let me open that this is this is the project which i have created uh, for the test purpose here okay so here it contains all the same uh, uh, the same age old uh, uh, techniques here okay so if you go to uh, so here we have an image here okay so first let me copy that image in my site root directory okay so i have pasted it and if you go to in my index.html page so here uh, so my intention 
is to go to this if you go to uh, chrome once again if you go to google uh, so this is andhra university so where my college is affiliated okay so if you want to go to uh, that hyperlink so here okay so if you want to uh, so here my intention is to if i click on the emblem or the logo so that's the image i have copied uh, it should automatically redirect uh, to this page here okay so that's my intention uh, to make that happen so first let me take uh, the image tag here okay so first sorry first let me uh, establish the ahref attribute and let me paste that uh, link here and let me uh, and also in addition to the uh, uh, target attribute we have an uh, uh, title attribute here okay so title attribute uh, uh, displays some text okay so it's an info about that image or that particular link okay so you can say visit uh, so andhra university okay so you can say something like this visit uh, andhra university and you can close this uh, link and now uh, so coming to, to keep it uh, in the next line okay so it's crossing the uh, window here okay so you can keep, you can have an image instead of uh, text uh, in between the as a hyperlink uh, okay so you can you can also make an image uh, as a hyperlink here okay so to do that uh, i am adding an img tag so we have studied about the images so the netbeans is smart enough it automatically showing me that uh, back one dot uh, jpg and also uh, we need to have uh, some height and width when coming to the image so let's make it uh, 300 and let's make the width as again 300 pixels here okay and also let's have some alternate text like uh, a au logo here okay so au logo university logo let's close that uh, image tag here so let's add a br tag also uh, to make it uh, uh, to make the image uh, display in the next time okay so now if you run this page uh, in your uh, chrome <laughs> instead of this uh, a image uh, it's displaying some other image here okay so no problem uh, if you click on this it automatically redirects uh, you to that page okay so if you make it uh, if you want to make it uh, exactly the, the same thing uh, so also you can uh, so go to that page and you can, you can copy that uh, or else uh, or else you can click on the au logo so let's say so on our university, okay. so on our university, uh, go to images and you find this huge, huge logo here. Okay, so huge, huge logo. So you can save that uh, to uh, some, uh, can save that to your uh, image. Okay, so save that image to your uh, my documents and uh, let's go to. Uh, so I have kept a folder here. Okay. So I think already I have uh, have saved it already. But else you can do one thing. Uh, let's close it uh, and go to NetBeans here. Okay. So uh, mistakenly we have this. Uh, unfortunately we have this another image. I'm just deleting that and I'm going to my uh, so my documents and uh, since my system is very ancient, uh, it's taking a huge huge time uh, to navigate between. Okay. So if you go to this logo uh, for website. So here we have. Uh, so logo for our uh, uh, university logo. So let's just copy that and paste in my uh, site root directory. And now if you have this uh, au logo dot png, and now NetBeans is always smart enough. So if we say src is equal to. Uh, so let's say au logo dot uh, png. Okay. So now if you run your uh, page, your Chrome, so you have this huge, huge logo here. Okay, so if you hover over the logo, it says that visit Andhra University. So even though I say uh, uh, 300 is very, very big, let's reduce that size to 100 and 100. Okay, again, let's run the page in Chrome, it says got reduced. Okay, so if you hover over on the uh, logo, uh, it automatically shows the title uh, which we have uh, now placed here. Okay. So now if you click on that page, uh, logo, it automatically redirects you to the, uh, it automatically redirects to the Andhra University uh, homepage here, okay. So this, 
So it's the basic stuff uh, to how to link uh, to external pages, uh, external websites, uh, how to make hyperlinks uh, to external uh, websites uh, within your home page. Okay. So to summarize once again, uh, so here we have taken a, a list of uh, hyperlinks. Okay. So first one goes to google.com uh, within the home page and the second hyperlink uh, we have made it uh, uh, visit or we, we had made uh, the target blank uh, which means that if you click on that home page it opens in a new tab here. Okay. So in the same way we have uh, made a hyperlink uh, to my college website which is playcollege.info. So if you click on that, it automatically uh, it automatically leads uh, you to uh, my college website. Okay, so where as a work where I work as an assistant professor. In the same way, uh, we have uh, uh, made uh, an hyperlink for the CSE department specifically uh, to navigate directly uh, to that path. Uh, we have copied the entire absolute URL and placed within our uh, HDF attribute here. Okay, so in the same way, uh, in the last thing we have did is we have taken an image and we have uh, made it an hyperlink here okay so instead of uh, putting plain text so we have taken an image and we have placed that in between and if you uh, click on that uh, hyperlink here so automatically if you reload the page and click on that logo it automatically leads to the university website here, okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so navigating uh, uh, or else uh, uh, making hyperlinks to external pages so within your web page okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye